Joining me today is Impact Wrestling superstar, Kimberly. Kimberly, welcome to the show. Hello, okay. it's good. I'm excited to be here. <laughs> I'm excited to have you. Have you been? How are you doing today, Kimberly? Um, I'm doing well. Doing well. It's been a kind of relaxing Sunday so far. So, yeah, I know. I, I think after this interview, I should call my mom. Uh, what do you think? Yes, yes. Okay. We all need to call our moms today. I've already okay. talked to mine. Okay. I woke her up. Okay, but, she's on the west coast so she's three hours behind me okay but but the interview comes first interview first yeah. mom mom second <laughs> i'm just kidding i'm just kidding uh, so let's get on with this so you've been with impact wrestling for about a year now um what are your um how's how do you feel so far about uh about being in impact wrestling for a year um you know impact it just you know accepted me with open arms man and it's it's been a wild year but it's been awesome um and i don't really want to be anywhere else. You know, Impact has become my family very fast. Um, and I'm proud to be an Impact Knockout. And I'm proud to be a part of that women's division because there's so much talent. And just it, it's been one of the best years of my life, I think. And uh, I can't wait to see what the future holds because uh, if I have any say in it, I'm not going anywhere anytime soon. <laughs> That's good. That's good. I love you at Impact Wrestling. <laughs> You're doing a great job. Is there anything you might have done differently over the past year or is everything working out the way you had expected? Um, I mean, I don't think the past year went the way anybody in the world oh, yeah, expected well, with it the, to. Of course, of course, um, of course. So, uh, and I really think, you know, part of the circumstances of the world is part of why I was given the opportunity when I was. And um, I, you know, before I started at Impact, I was starting to kind of have like, not necessarily super super soon but I was starting to think you know maybe it's time to move on and do something else with my life and not wrestle uh, focus on wrestling as much and then bam here comes impact and the, that focus changed a little bit again but um you know it's just been a crazy year it's been a learning experience for me in a lot of ways um kind of having to I not only with wrestling uh signed a contract but my regular life career um completely changed from what I've what I had done my whole life and you know it's it's just been a wild ride <laughs> the last year I know you've been studying to be a, a, a vet tech um yes. how, did, how did that come about and how do you juggle working as a vet tech and professional wrestling um, you know, it's a lot of, it's a lot of work. Uh, I run on caffeine and okay. like fairy dust, but like, um, <laughs> I don't know, like, uh, I just, um, I never, it's, I feel like sleep is something I don't get much of because I'm, okay. I work full time. I do impact. I, so wrestling, and then I'm also doing school. So it, it can be a lot at times, but I love what I'm doing and I love learning. So, um, it's kind of fun for me at the same time, um, but I just got lucky, I think, with the place I work, too. You know, they're really open and willing to work with me and my schedule um, and the days I need to take off, um, but I work, like, twice as hard when I am here so that they continue to work with me, but um, I, I love my job. I work with all cats right now, um, and it it really makes it so it's not like work. Um, it's if you love what you do, you don't work a day in your life. So <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. So on to the rest thing. So you and Susan have had your hands full yes. with Taylor Wild. So your thoughts on Taylor Wild? And I know unfortunately you both suffered a loss to Taylor Wild. Are you looking for some revenge? And are you mm -hmm. looking for a revenge on Tennille Dashwood and Caleb with a K because they interfered on her behalf? Um, absolutely. I like why, first of all, I don't even know what Tennille's doing because I don't know if you've seen any of that because I don't think Taylor wants anything to do with her, but whatever to each their own. Um, okay. Tennille's kind of in her own world if you haven't noticed that either, but <laughs> I absolutely think that we, um, uh, we deserve revenge. We deserve, um, you know, another chance. I, you know, I, don't take losses lightly. And now I've had some experience with Taylor Wilde and she's a fantastic component, uh, opponent. She always has been. Um, and you would never know that it's been a decade set before we had, had our match since she had last wrestled. And, uh, but now I've seen how she works. So I want another chance because now I know how to kind of 
get that win, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, I'd love to see that rematch as well. Uh, you and Susan, you've also teamed a number of times. Are you thinking about a possible run at Jordan Grace and Rachel Ellering for the Knockouts Tag Team titles? Absolutely. You know, I've said it multiple, multiple times. You know, we have the virtuoso Deanna Perrazzo, who already is the greatest knockouts champion of all time, in my opinion. So why not have Susan and Kimber finally have some gold of their own? And then we have three titles between the three of us. And that's even more strength than we already have, because we're already living in the age of the virtuosa. So let's make it more powerful. Absolutely. You know, are you worried that she, that Susan could transform to Sue Young at any time? Does I don't that concern? know what we're talking about. Okay. Is okay. That... We'll, we'll leave that alone. We'll leave that alone then. So uh, you mentioned uh, Deanna Perrazzo. Should the opportunity arise where you're able to get a shot at the knockouts title against Deanna Perrazzo, would you accept it? Um, I get asked this question a lot. And my response is, you know, as far as right now, like what, uh, her successes are also my successes, but um, I also say that best friends have the best fights, so I would absolutely take the opportunity if it arose, but I, I'm not looking for it at the moment, and um, it, uh, you know, I'm, I'm more focused on the tag titles with Susan, because like I said, then we have three titles, so would we would we do, take the opportunity if it was there? Yes, I, both of us are fighting competitors, we wouldn't turn it down, but... That's not what we're focusing on right now. Okay. Just one more question about that. How do you feel your chances would be uh, defeating Deanna Perrazzo for the title? Uh, obviously, it would be difficult. It would be very okay. difficult. Okay. She beat me before, so, but uh, not, not something that I would uh, not try if given the opportunity. Okay. Now, with the forbidden door between Impact and, and AEW, it's now open. What are your hopes that women talent will be able to walk through that door soon and – do you see it happening? And is there anybody in AEW that you would like to face? Um, you know, I the opportunities are really kind of endless with um, what's been going on. There's just uh, so much that could happen. It's, it's really cool to see companies working together. And um, I think it would be great if the women got to cross over too. Um, it, it, there's some amazing women that work there that I would love to wrestle. And the one I always say is um, Big Swole because I have never had a singles match with her. She is fantastic, and that is the one that if worlds are to collide, that is who I would want to collide with. <laughs> well, hopefully we'll, sh we'll see you showing up in AEW Dynamite soon, and um, you could challenge her to a match. I think that would be a fantastic match yeah, you against absolutely. Big Swole. So what are your thoughts on Tony Khan knocking Impact Wrestling on uh, almost a regular basis on Impact Wrestling TV? You can say what you want. I still love Impact. We all know how what Impact is go ahead. It's fine. Like it, <laughs> I, I don't take things personally. I just kind of laugh it off because if you have to, you have to make an attack, that means you're scared. Just saying. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I, I think he's scared. I, I, I kind of wish somebody <laughs> would, would show up there and, um, you know, teach him a little lesson and maybe you'll do it one day, <laughs> but, uh, um, but I don't like them knocking impact wrestling. Uh, your thoughts on Kenny Omega winning the impact title and who do you think is going to get it back for impact? I think it's going to be Moose, but who do you think it's going to be? Uh, you know, it's, it is what it is. We gave the, um, the, there was the opportunity for the title to be won and Kenny Omega was the better wrestler that night. And, uh, you know, it is something that we obviously, everybody at Impact Wrestling wanted the title to come back home. Um, and I would say I have to agree with you. I think, uh, out of the people that I can think of, Moose is, He's in the best shape of his life right now. He's working incredibly hard. I was talking to him a little bit about his like meal plan and eating routine and everything he's doing right now. And like he's at the peak of his career and he he can bring that title home. I, I agree with you on that one. Now, do you hold any grudges against Don Callis for signing with Kenny Omega and not with Impact Wrestling? Um no, I, I, don't, I okay. can't say I hold okay. any credit. Okay. No. okay. Okay. So with the latest group of free agent uh, releases, um, who are, and there's a lot of indie talent out there, who are you hoping to see uh, sign with Impact Wrestling? Um, you know, I think it would be all, all of the women that were just um, released. Okay. I, want, I want Mickey James. I want Chelsea Green. I want the Iconics. Um, 
They're all fantastic. Uh, Chelsea Green is the one that I want to wrestle because I have never wrestled her before. I have uh, had the uh, pleasure of wrestling those other women, but, um, you know, I think it would be real fun to tangle with the hot mess. But, um, okay. you know, it's just, it, it's everybody. Everybody's fantastic. Why wouldn't we want all of them? <laughs> Absolutely. So hopefully Slamiversary will see a lot more additions to Impact Wrestling. I know there's a lot of talent out there. I'd love to see them in Impact Wrestling as well. Anybody on the indie scene that um, that uh, you would love to see uh, join Impact Wrestling? Um, you know... I'll go with, you know, I hadn't really had many encounters with her until recently, but um, Masha Slam Slamovich is amazing. Um, and then someone who was at Impact for a brief moment that I would love to see there regularly is Killer Kelly. So I'll go with those. Oh, you know, I was thinking Masha Slamovich as well and Killer Kelly as well. Those would be two great additions. I know you had a match with Killer Kelly. Uh, I believe you, you lost to Killer Kelly. Would you like to get that win back from Killer Kelly? I... You, uh, I, I thought I won. Oh, did you win? Uh, maybe, I'm sorry. I, I, could, I could be mistaken. If you did win, I, I, I apologize. I a lot, so I could be wrong too, but I'm, I'm pretty sure I won that one. But uh, I would absolutely take a rematch. Like I said, I'm a fighting competitor. I'll, I'll take anybody. Okay, sounds good. How do you compare the knockouts of the knockouts division to women's divisions uh, in other promotions? Um, I stand by the statement that we have one of the best women's divisions in the world, period. Um, there, uh, I love that we're all so different. I love that um, all, all of us look so different. We move differently, but we all work well together and we make magic happen. And there's not, you know, it's just at the same time, it's like a giant sisterhood. We all take care of each other. And um, I think you can put us against anybody and we'll stand up to it. Absolutely. Personally, I think it's the best uh, women's division in any promotion, uh, and it's only going to get better with uh, if we do uh, if you do add a number of the free agents that are that are available. Last question, and um, I'll let you go. Will you be at Under Siege, and if so, in what capacity? Um, you know, I'm always going to be around. We will have to wait and see until. Okay what's going but um you know we have heard that diana will have a match it's undetermined who it will be against yet we still have to have that number one contender spot uh filled and you know wherever diana is i'm usually not far away so <laughs> all right fair enough well i hope to see you at under siege well kimberly thank you so much for joining me today it was an absolute pleasure talking to you i wish you nothing but the best of luck in the future and uh keep doing what you're doing you're fantastic you're a definitely an impact wrestling superstar and again thank it was you. great great talking to you today thank you thank you for having me <laughs> my pleasure well this has been shooting up north i'm your host lewis carlin until next time thank you very much take care bye-bye and stay safe everyone so long bye-bye